Hi friends, we are here in high speed mode today because it's day number 26, which is the creation of fussy cuts. So I created 63 fussy cuts during this hour, but decided I love you far too much to make you watch me fussy cut in slow motion. Um, what I like to do with fussy cutting is actually sometimes referred to as kiss cutting, where you leave a little bit of a white border around. Um, as you know, fussy cutting is fussy, but but kiss cutting is a little fussy too in that you've got to try to make sure the borders around the object you're cutting are pretty similar so that it looks neat and tidy like a sticker. Um, and I typically will ink them when I'm putting them on a project. Um, what I'm doing today is a really important thing, I think, in any junk journaling studio, which is breaking down a large book. So I got this big book about um, animals and it had birds and all sorts of fun things. Um, and it it was a lot of fun to flip through, but it was quite large to store. So sometimes when I have something that just has a lot of similar things in it, like a theme of birds or mammals or whatever, I will just cut them out and I organize them in bags. Um, so that I have like this file of different kinds of fussy cut images to be able to add to my work. Um, I like to fussy cut in places where like I'm going somewhere, I'm a passenger in a car, maybe in front of the TV or I'm on vacation and I can't be working on like a whole entire project. Um, a few other things about fussy cutting is like I've learned it's good to turn the paper rather than your scissors when you're fussy cutting because it's just easy easier to make those cornered cuts and stuff. Um, if you find that the bigger piece of the paper when you're cutting is like getting in the way, snip it off, work with a smaller piece. I typically will cut things out and leave like kind of a small border around each um, individual piece piece, like I'll cut all those birds apart into like, you know, hand sized pieces of paper. And then I will cut away at the border and, and create my fussy cut. Um, so yeah, it's a great way to break down books. And it's kind of foundational, right? Because every time, you know, we create some kind of a thing, like we have a background for a tag or a journal card, you need something to be that central focus that pop in the middle. So that is uh, what I'm doing today. I have a bunch more fussy cutting from printed digitals, but I don't have enough time to get through them as I'm doing this. But I just want to say thank you so much for joining me and watching me do this super speed fussy cut that I wish that I could actually do in real life. I wish I could cut this this quickly. But yeah, I'm happy with what I have. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.